Hi there, I'm Peter Cook, standing as an independent for Parliament here in Gillingham and Raynham. We're opposite Mr Chishty, my main opposition really, um, and I want to talk about the points of difference as we reach uh, Thursday as to why I might be a different choice for people who are fed up with regular politics here, particularly regulatory politics. Mr Chishty is renowned for actually being absent at the, the wheel and never doing anything in this area, unless it has anything to do with Avenue Tennis or you know, sort of cutting a ribbon or something like that. I've spoken to so many people on the doorstep that either are very unhappy about him or that he's, they've asked him to do things and he's never done a single thing. There are, there's a litany of Facebook comments about this uh, and other places as well. So, like so I actually believe in the Medway Towns and I believe in the people of the Medway Towns is the first thing. And I would fight seriously because I don't have political masters to tell me what I can and can't say. So, and I'm slightly politically incorrect and irreverent at my age. So I call a spade a spade, even if that's the Reform Party spade. Uh, I'm 200% anti-Brexit. I've just been speaking to the Reform Party who questioned my figures when I said we've got £140 billion pounds we're bleeding to death every year because of Brexit. And he said that we're the uh, fastest growing economy. I asked him to listen to more or less on BBC because they di digested this problem by explaining how gold tilts the balance of our sort of success, as it were, relative success. And uh, he refused to do that, saying that he didn't need to look at facts to know what he was talking about. That itself explains quite a lot about reform, that facts don't matter. And of course they don't. Nigel has no plan for anything. I sound like Rishi Sunak now, but Nigel has no plan for anything apart from chanting, stop the boats. So I'm 100 or 200% anti-Brexit, which uh, Rishi Sunak has gone along with this ludicrous experiment, which has cost the country a fortune. And when I asked Reform UK what would we get, what have we got back from Brexit, she said we don't have to deal with the French anymore. Is that what we're spending 140 billion pounds a year for? We just couldn't. Perhaps we shouldn't just talk to them or something like that if we don't want to deal with the French anymore. Is that what Brexit was for? Really? We must treat climate crisis seriously, and the Conservatives are not. And frankly, hardly any of the parties are doing it seriously. I myself have been working for the Climate Party to help them recruit candidates who are a centre-right uh, climate concern party. So they're not Greenpeace and they're not the Green Party. And that, that I'm actually completely for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the kind of dialogue that was needed to solve the Northern Ireland crisis. Um, the situation is complex, difficult, and not easy to describe in that one sentence. And therefore, a, a full dialogue needs to take place. And uh, we owe it to the people of Gaza, and frankly, the people of Israel. The people of Gaza are not Hamas, and the people of Israel are not Mr Netanyahu. So I separate those two. That. Local priorities are fixing the high streets, uh, getting transport working really well. There's a bus just gone past, actually. Very rare in the evening. Uh, if we could get cars off the road by actually improving public transport and all sorts of other systems that the Green Party are very strong on, actually, then we could do really well here, actually, and, and clean up the uh, traffic flows and make the place greener, cleaner, and all the rest of it. There's some examples. I have a full manifesto, which you can read, uh, on the website which is brexitrage.com forward slash cats yes I am standing a cat for election but the reason for that is very simple I don't have billions of pounds of Facebook ads to waste on a, an election so I had to find a different way as an independent to get people's attention because frankly people only think about sort of the main party so I chose to use a cat to, to uh, get people's attention but I'm deadly serious about you know I've got to say reforming things, but it sounds like the Reform Party. I'm certainly not the Reform Party. I'm desperately keen to reboot Britain. So vote for Peter Cook if you've had enough of all the parties, particularly the Tory party. And uh, good evening and thank you very much. Who let the dogs out? <laughs>